Hey guys, you might be wondering, hey, this isn't a blog-esque video on a phone. Well, that's because today's topic is about a video game, and I thought, well, what more appropriate thing to do than to actually play the video game while doing a side of it, instead of just talking about it. So that's what I'm going to do real quick for you guys. And also because I had a little bit more free time, so I'm going to do it. So why I'm bringing up Dark Souls today in a game is that I find Dark Souls to be one of the games that represents depression in a very real light. And we're going to skip this opening sequence. I'm not going to go through that. You see, when you start off in Dark Souls, you start off as this person who is alone in their own little world. And I thought to myself, that's, that's pretty accurate about depression when you're going through it. You find yourself to be, you know, you feel a little beaten up, you feel a little confused. You know, you shouldn't be. Here you are. When you begin and you feel depressed, you're in you're in this own little world of yours. It's dark, it's weird. You can see a little bit of light, but you're not sure how to get there. And if you don't do anything about it, well, nothing will happen to you. That's true. You could stay in this little spot for as long as you like and nothing bad would happen. But nothing good would happen either. There'd be no progress. So you move forward. Yep. You move forward and you might end up finding some people that can help you find some guidance in your life. Like these crazy witch people here, but hopefully not as crazy. Eventually, you recall things about yourself. We're going to call ourselves the Raffley. At least you know your own name. And hey, how you doing there, bud? So you remember something about yourself, and you remember that you've had these tools with you in your life all along. And we'll just pick a random one. Bing. Yeah, doesn't really matter. You remember stuff about yourself, and you remember that you have these tools and abilities to, you know, move forward. Is this your true self? Maybe it's not you. Hey, old lady. Because you haven't gone on your journey yet. And it's an important thing. When you're going through your journey of depression, it's going to feel dark. You're going to feel confused at some point. You're going to get a lot of people telling you which way to go and how to do things and this and that. But you got to make your own way a little bit sometimes as well. And eventually, you find some light. When you're going through depression, you find this safe haven. You find a place where you feel comfortable. You feel like nothing can hurt you here. And it's like the first place, but it's a little bit brighter. It's a little bit better. You feel better about it. And you realize you're also not alone. Well, for now, at least. And I think that's an important thing when it comes to depression, is you have to find your safe haven. You have to find a place that makes you feel comfortable. You have to find a place that you can say, I can be here, I can get a little bit of stress to go away, and I can enjoy, you know, doing stuff that I want. It's an important thing to have when you go to your journey of, well, getting through depression. Sometimes it'll feel like life will have you on these precarious little adventures. Cross something a little dangerous, but you might get some reward for it. You don't have to. You could go down the normal path and everything would be totally fine. But isn't life worth having just a little bit of risk? And if you fail, what really happens? Do you just move back to your safe place and start over? Of course, you have to judge whether some risks are worth it or not. That's a very important part of life. In this case, that was a very simple risk, pretty easy, and you're fairly rewarded for it. Of course, sometimes when you take a risk like that, there is no turning back, and now you must move forward, and you see something that seems like an impossible task ahead of you, like this guy right here. Or this guy trying to pretending uh, to be dead. 
Yeah, he's not dead. But sometimes you have a large task ahead of you, and you don't know how you're going to accomplish it. Well, just take your time, take the steps you need to, work around him, or it. Hey, nice pose. Uh, how do you even... Oh, God. He's... I thought that was his front. He's been broken in half. Well, you got rewarded for it. He got his spine dead. And as you travel, you'll find some more safe places. These might be friends, comforts, jobs, zones, other places that you feel like you can hang out. It's all fine. Who's this? <laughs> TLD. No, thank you. Sorry, TLD. Of course, these challenges never really go away, do they? They stay with you for a while. You might feel like some challenges team up on you. Handle what you can one at a time. When you're going through life, sometimes things just seem too good to be true. And chances are, they really probably are. Be careful. People will try to abuse you. People can try to manipulate you. People can try and throw bombs at you. Even after long journeys, you will find some respite. You'll find helpful items in the most unusual of places. Ah, sugary bits. Sometimes you will think that you can do well on something and you will not quite make it. If you all know what's coming up, it's one of life's greatest challenges. Sometimes you will face things that seem bigger than life itself. You don't know what's on the other side. It seems like something terrifying. Whew. I mean, just look at this thing. It doesn't even have a face. You take your time, you take the steps, you know what you need to do, you solve the task in front of you. Even if it seems like it would be impossible, you can do it. I believe. That's why I think Dark Souls is a great analogy for life and getting through depression. Dark Souls is full of things that seem impossible, full of tricky traps, and full of things that you would think would make your life more difficult. With a little bit of caution, with a little bit of practice, a little bit of patience, and knowing who you are and what your strengths are, you can get through most any problem in life. Will it be easy? No, and sometimes when you hit the problem first, you, you might fail at it, as you can see. I failed once, I played this game quite a bit, and I still died on a part that should have been a lot easier. So, thank you all for hanging in, and I'd like to ask you guys, what kind of games do you have that help you when you're depressed? I love to see those kind of games from you guys. Leave it in the comments below, on the raffle, or on YouTube, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Be sure to check out Space Barbers and my Steam if you want to talk to me, and I think that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you kids later. Hey!